estates of the various MKM companies were liquidated in May 2011 and were consolidated into a single estate. The provisional liquidators were given certain powers, including the power to sell estate assets. Following the strike of MKM Burial Services employees, which was caused by the detainment of salaries over years now, MKM Group of Companies decided to set the record straight, naming and shaming the government for owing them. Speaking at a press briefing on Wednesday last week, MKM Director Simon Tebeyakhala revealed that he met with advocate Mama Rame Matela from Socialist Revolutionaries, SR, to discuss the issue of liquidation of MKM companies and not their political interests as they come from different political parties. <laughs> Speaking on behalf of MKM, advocate Mama Rame Matela highlighted that she was saddened by the strike that took place on the 29th July at MKM Burial Society, whereby employees refused to release corpses to their families. <laughs> She also pleaded with the courts to act accordingly to return the properties of Tebea Khale so that he can work for Basotho. Matela further indicated that the rent for one tenant at one building is now beyond 30 million maluti ever since liquidation and that could have paid employees at MKM Burial Society. <laughs> Yanale <laughs> Libua John Simon Tebea Khale revealed that he leaves MKM to join the newly formed political party Revolution for Prosperity. He leaves the company in the capable hands of his son, Sikroho Tebea Khale.